Lloyd M. Cook, born 1916, died 2001, African-American industrial chemist. Lloyd M. Cook spent 30 years working in chemical, technical, and market research in cellulose and carbohydrate chemistry for companies. Although he worked in industry throughout his career, he developed a respected reputation in the scientific community and was instrumental in preparing a publication on chemistry and the environment that was widely adopted as a university textbook. He is a member of a number of scientific boards and societies and has received many awards and honors, including the Proctor Prize in Science from the Science Research Association in 1970. Cook transferred to the area of urban affairs, a community relations position for Union Carbide in 1970, a position which made him responsible for areas such as equal opportunity employment and education. Lloyd Miller Cook was born in La Salle, Illinois, on June 7, 1916, the son of William Wilson and Ann Miller Cook. His father, an engineer and architect for the U.S. government, advised him against his first choice for a career, aeronautical engineering, because he said a black wouldn't be able to find work in the field. Hoping for more, for more opportunity, Cook elected to major in chemistry instead. Although he graduated first in his class in 1937 with a Bachelor of Science from the University of Wisconsin, he could not get a job. Cook went to the McGill University in Canada and received his doctorate in organic chemistry in 1941. Cook studies in the chemistry of cellulose, a polysaccharide found in plant cell walls and used in the manufacture of goods such as rayon, paper, and cellophane, led to a job as researcher and section leader in starch chemistry at the Corn Products Refining Company in Argo, Illinois. In 1946, Cook moved to the Visking Corporation in Chicago to do research in carbohydrate chemistry. Cook advanced steadily within the films and packaging division of Visking, whose products included hot dog casings. He was manager of the cellulose and casing research department from 1950 to 1954, then assistant manager of a technical division from 1954 to 1957. Cook's areas of chemical research on Cook's areas of chemical research on which he was published in professional journals include the structure of lignin, a polymer related to cellulose, starch modification and derivatives, cellulose derivatives, chemistry of viscose, a solution of cellulose treated with caustic alkali, and carbon disulfide used in the manufacture of rayon and films, and carbohydrate and polymer chemistry. When Visking was taken over by Union Carbide, a leading chemical company, in 1957, Cook volunteered for a challenging assignment. Quote, I decided I was happiest when I was on a problem with a time limit were come a date I had to make a decision, unquote, he told the New York Times. At Union Carbide in Chicago, Cook served as assistant director of research from 1957 to 1965, manager of market research from 1965 to 1967, and manager of planning from 1967 to 1970. It was as manager of planning that he was responsible for the preparation of the book Cleaning Our Environment, The Chemical Basis for Action, which was published by the American Chemical Society in 1969. Although the book was written for the lay person, especially for politicians and environmental leaders, it was also adopted as a college text by 20 universities and sold more than 50,000 copies. In 1970, Cook accepted a new challenge as Director of Urban Affairs for Union Carbide in New York, where he became responsible for issues of equal employment and education access for minorities. Cook explained his shift in direction to the New York Times, quote, I had decided to make a career change anyway before this offer came. My real interest was in problem solving, and I'd have fun getting involved in the environmental problem, unquote. 
In this new position, which Cook held until 1978, he fostered an innovative partnership between Union Carbide and the New York City public school system and focused on secondary science and mathematics education. Between 1978 and his retirement, Cook served as a senior consultant to Union Carbide. Cook was awarded both the Proctor Prize in Science and the Honor Scroll Award of the Chicago Chapter of the American Institute of Chemists in 1970. He is a member of the National Academy of Sciences, the American Institute of Chemists, the American Chemical Society, and the American Marketing Association, among other scientific and professional organizations. Cook served as a member of the National Science Board from 1970 to 1982, a trustee for the Carver Research Foundation of the, of the Tuskegee Institute from 1971 to 1978, president of the National Action Council on Minorities in Engineering from 1981 to 1983, and as a senior advisor to the Chancellor of the New York Public Schools from 1984 to 1987. In 1957, Cook married Vera E. Schlegel, a biochemist he met at Visking. He acknowledged in the New York Times in 1971, quote, every single thing I have written, she's approved, unquote. Cook and his wife have two children, Barbara and William. Citations are in the description.